Hello everyone, how you guys doing? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day and today we are here with a video on why I've been making so many Slayer guides lately. Why does he do it to himself? Obviously got a face cam on as well, talking to you guys, having a good old time. Wanted to have more of a personal video where I could just discuss with you guys what has been going on with the channel lately. So if you are unaware, because eh, there might be some people that are, and that is I have been uploading Hardcore Iron Man videos and Slayer guides essentially religiously for the last three to four months, mostly through this summer. And for some people, I understand that that's not their cup of tea. That's not exactly what they're into. And wanted to make this video both for them and for the actual fans of those videos. And just kind of talking to you guys about where I'm at, both with the channel and personally, and wanted to do it with a nice little face cam as well. Doing some temperos in the background because I need some fishing flakes and I thought it'd be funny for you guys to watch me get absolutely wrecked whenever I go AFK. So I think that that's where we're gonna be at for this. So at this point, as I've mentioned previously, I have been making Slayer Guides for quite a while, and lately it has been all that I've uploaded in terms of other videos rather than my Hardcore Iron Man. Here and there, I'll sprinkle in some other videos that are more universal type videos that I do enjoy making, um, just because I, I know that there's still a, a large fan base behind the channel that isn't into the Slayer Guides and isn't into the Hardcore Iron Man, so I do still want to appeal to them in a sense, but at the same time, I feel like lately has just been a wonderful time for me. Personally, I've been enjoying it a ton. Um, I'm someone that's always enjoyed making Slayer Guides. It is essentially why I started doing YouTube way back in the day is because I, I, I was just a stupid little kid that all I did was Slayer. And I was like, well, maybe I can just teach other people the same thing and try to help them out. And so early on in my YouTubing career or life or whatever, I don't, this was way back in like 2010, maybe, maybe even earlier, I would just make Slayer Guides. I thought that they were really fun. I thought that they would be helpful. And I thought it was, you know, a fun process to make and try to help share my thoughts with others. So it was your quintessential uh, video of the age for YouTube. You know, I'd use a PowerPoint, I'd talk in game, I'd hypercam up on the side, and then I'd have maybe like a presentation that I'd just kind of flip through real quick with the, honestly just had words. <laughs> it was, it was the best. I really enjoyed it. So um, ever since that moment, I've always wanted to go back and actually then make those Slayer Guides and actually fulfill what I set out to do originally, which was to, you know, make all these Slayer Guides and do all these things. And so I've been having just an absolute blast with it. Um, I know that most people on the channel, you know, they're not eagerly awaiting a Slayer Guide. I know there are some of you, and I appreciate that greatly. They always tell me how much they like the guides. And honestly, whenever I'm on Twitch and when I'm streaming and, um, you know, I get more compliments for the Slayer Guides than I ever have for anything else I've done. And that to me is why I do it. That's what means a lot to me is that I know people are getting use out of them. I know that there's a market for it and people that need it. And I mean, honestly, I would look up Slayer stuff and some of the lower to med level guides, people just don't feel like it's necessary to make those videos. And I don't understand why. So I wanted to be the person that would go out and make basically every Slayer guide that there is for you know, a majority of the game. Obviously, I'm not going to go make like rat guides and, and stuff like that, but I wanted to essentially cover Duradel, Neve, and Cheldar and every single task. So then people can be familiar with me and they can start to trust me and, you know, really get that knowledge from me. And I think that that's an amazing thing and something I've always wanted to do. So honestly, it worked out really, really well for me timing wise as well. Um, given the summer that we're in, I mean, COVID isn't lessening this isn't a covid video i don't even want to get into this but um essentially more people are going outside at least in the united states and from what i can tell other places i watch a lot of soccer so you know, i don't know um so it's summertime people are moving around a little bit more on top of that you know we've all been locked inside playing runescape for quite a while at this point so i thought that the summer would be a good time to go ahead and just give it a breather essentially upload hardcore iron man videos and finish out these slayer guides and i've gotten really close to doing that at this point there's maybe 10 to 15 more slayer guides i'd like to make and i'll sprinkle them in as i go i'll really start to get close to getting this done and then at that point i'm going to get right back into the normal videos that i used to do and so if you think that you know i've just lost my way and i don't even know what to do and so i'm just making slayer guides just to fill the void 
by no means is that the case. I thoroughly enjoy making these guides, and I think that they'll be helpful for a long time to come. And with that, I, I just feel like they're worthwhile, even if other people might not think so. Even if whenever I upload them, they don't get views like other things do. And I, I think that that takes a little bit of righteousness. You know, I think it. I think it's the right path to go down is to build out these guides and to really help people out and get their trust and get them integrated with my videos and then from there you know i can make these other videos i can do other things there's so many videos to do on runescape there's th there's so many things to be dug into to be broken down to be taught to others and so for people to think that somehow i'm out of ideas and i'm making slayer guides because i just don't have a clue it it's very silly i've seen that comment a few times and it, it irks me but at the same time you know for every comment like that there's 100 people that love the videos and so i understand that i don't really take it too much to heart but i hope that you guys are aware that you know i know just like you know that these slayer guides aren't meant for everyone and that's perfectly fine i think that that's a, a great spot to be essentially i want to build out the channel into having all sorts of guides and all of these types of videos and slayer videos were the ones that i felt like would you know be the worst essentially early on in terms of views and how much people would accept them immediately and so whenever i want to go about building out the channel i wanted to just start off with what i felt like people wouldn't like the most of course long term people will like the slayer gets in my opinion and you know people will still get integrated through them but what i'm saying is from a beginning standpoint whenever the slayer guide comes out there's there's very few people that are going to be hyped up about a slayer guide and that's more so what i'm talking about and personally I'm lucky enough with the YouTube channel where I'm at that I don't have to fear about people not liking my videos as soon as I upload them. Because once I get back to doing my thing, I think people will get back to doing their thing and enjoying the videos that I used to put out rather than the guides that I make right now. And that's that's okay. You know, there's different sections of an audience that have different things that are meant for them. Oh, okay. All right. First time I might? No, I'm not getting gone. So as far as the channel goes, once I complete these Slayer Guides, I feel like it's going to be one of the most rewarding completionist things that I've done on the channel in doing all of those Slayer Guides. I, I've also made it a point to do even sort of the stupid low-level Slayer Guides that, you know, people honestly even mock me for in my comics. They're like, why do people need this? It's 2021. And I, I understand it, but I also think it's really funny. Because at the end of the day, RuneScape is, is a game that, people will always come back to you know they play as a kid they float in and out and so they'll always need to learn things and get reintegrated into the game and so I, i'm more than happy to upload videos that people think are stupid in hopes of helping the newer people and that's been something that i have focused more so on the channel um and i've i think i always will at this point um originally whenever i made my channel i i started off with like some really niche calculations and fun stuff like that which i will continue to do but whenever you focus too much on the sweaty sweaty side of the game you're you're helping a really niche audience that honestly is very critical um i mean i understand it because they play the game a ton and they know so much and they want they feel like they can help or i mean honestly sometimes they're a little toxic and they just want to but beside that, um, you know, you're just not helping people as much. And that's that's kind of my goal, obviously, with the Slayer Guides and with a lot of what I do is to help people. So I focus a little less on the high, high level community and I've moved that more towards the low level community. And people might think that's silly, but personally, it's a lot more rewarding for me and I feel a lot better doing it. And honestly, the responses are so much more kind and so much more encouraging. So it makes me want to do that even more. And so essentially throughout the Slayer Guide process, it might have been tough as a viewer if you really, really like enjoy my content that I normally put out, because at this point, you know, the only thing you've had to go off of is my Hardcore Iron Man series, which, you know, I, I'm having a good time with. But, of course, Hardcore Iron Man series aren't for everyone. And so I can understand that some people may have felt iced out or sort of left out of the videos that I've been making lately because it's just been Hardcore Iron Man videos and Slayer Guides. And if you don't like either of those, then, you know, my content really doesn't fit you at the moment. And, you know, again, I think that that's okay because at the end of the day, it'll all come back around. I've been more so focused on the Slayer Guides right now because I feel like it's a very good time for me to do that in terms of where I stand as a person and as a YouTuber and as a RuneScape player. 
Um, just all of it kind of lined up with COVID lessening, summer happening. Um, also, my hardcore Iron Man still alive and still kicking, and I didn't really expect this. So basically late on into the game. Um, something with Iron Man is I don't feel as connected to the main game. You know, I don't have the same struggles that a main player would have. So I, I'm not as in tune with what people need videos on and are hoping for. So I never expected to be alive this long. And given that I'm alive this long, still making hardcore videos and the YouTube's still doing very good. And, you know, I'm in a spot where I can then go ahead and make Slayer Guides and feel comfortable and help newer players. It, it just makes a lot of sense to me. And at the end of the day, that will come at the cost of not having as many clickbait, um, really exciting videos that people want in the moment. But at the end of the day, I think that those types of videos will always have a place in my YouTube and I can essentially do those whenever I'd like. And so with that, I've decided to just wait a little bit and focus on the Slayer Guides and myself. And at the end of the day, we are going to get back to the regularly scheduled content that I'm sure people like and enjoy. So with that said, that is going to be it for this video. Just get my thoughts out there. I haven't done, obviously, a video like this with face cam, but I also haven't done many kind of podcasty style videos talking to you guys and just getting to know you guys and you guys get to know me a bit better. I think it's a lot of fun. So if you guys enjoyed, make sure to leave a like. Anything you'd like to tell me, would love to hear it down below in a comment. And on top of that, if you want to see more videos like this as soon as go live make sure to subscribe and with that said hopefully you have a wonderful day and uh, peace